Pentagon recently requested its largest ever investment in innovation and next-generation helicopters as the United States eyes increased military capabilities by its great power competitors China and Russia. Future helicopters or the next-generation helicopters can do so much more than today's versions, including supporting systems that can conduct independent maneuver, achieving great speed and range, and to operate in a highly contested operational environment. Today, the buzz will present the seven upcoming military helicopters of USA. Firstly, we have the MD-969. With its unparalleled agility, expanded range, increased safety, and enhanced open architecture weapon system, the MD-969 Light Twin Engine Attack Helicopter is designed to fulfill future assault and attack demands. The helicopter will be equipped with modern avionics and flight control technologies that allow the crew to easily execute various duties. The MD-969 is the first light attack helicopter to include a weapon system with a 7-shot common launch tube, up to 7 AGM-176 Griffin missiles, guided munitions, and tactical offboard sensors can be placed on the same launch tube. MD-969 fast attack helicopter can attain a cruise speed of 296 km per hour and a maximum speed of 333 km per hour. It offers a maximum endurance of 4.3 hours. Next, we have the S-97 Raider. It is a high-speed scout and attack compound helicopter which is under development by Sikorsky Aircraft. The S-97 design includes variable-speed rigid coaxial main rotors and a variable pitch pusher propeller, making the S-97 a compound helicopter. Maneuverability is improved compared with earlier helicopters because of the ability to tilt the coaxial rotors together or tilt each one differently and because of the variable pitch propulsor and active elevons. It has fly-by-wire control and dynamic anti-vibration actuators to cancel out shaking. Based on the technology from the Sikorsky X2 demonstrator, the prototype S97s will be powered by a General Electric YT706 turboshaft. A more powerful engine, developed under the improved turbine engine program, is expected to become available. Up next is the X-49A Speedhawk. This is a concept aircraft based on applying X-49A compounding concepts to a production UH-60 Black Hawk, offering better performance, range and increases in useful load. The concept of the experimental program was to apply the vector thrust ducted propeller technology to a production military helicopter to determine any benefit gained through increases in performance or useful load. Thanks to the lift generated by the wings, a significant load is removed from the main rotor, allowing for a 50% increase in forward speed. The entire airframe now being optimized for speed means that the landing gear retracts into the fuselage and unnecessary protrusions are minimized. The next future U.S. helicopter on the list is the AVX helicopter. The AVX aircraft propose an aircraft with a coaxial rotor and twin ducted fan design that provides better steering and some additional forward power. This design is for the Army future long-range attack aircraft. The aircraft design was revealed in April 2019 and the prototype was exhibited at the Association of the United States Army annual meeting and exposition in October 2019. It is capable of flying at 430 km per hour. Test aircraft will be equipped with current GE T706 engines, but AVX is looking to equip their design with the advanced affordable turbine engines with higher 4,800 horsepower output. All armaments will be stored inside until needed to provide a clean aerodynamic design. It is capable of flying at 230 knots with 40% lift from the small forward wings and 60% from the 17-meter rotors. Next is the Sikorsky Lockheed Martin VH-92. This is the next-generation presidential transport helicopter being developed for the U.S. Marine Corps. It is a militarized variant of the Sikorsky S-92. On 28 July 2017, the first VH-92A performed its maiden flight at Sikorsky Aircraft's facilities in Stratford, Connecticut. 
The helicopter features a crash-worthy fuselage, integrating twin turboshaft power plant, and a fully articulated composite main rotor. It is powered with two General Electric CT-78A turboshaft engines. In late November 2021, Pentagon officials noted the aircraft was failing to meet the reliability, availability, or maintainability threshold requirements. The statement noted that during test flights, the aircraft damaged landing zones with its exhaust and fuel leaks. The helicopter had not entered service carrying VIPs. Up next, we have the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. This is the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program, succeeding the Joint Multi-Role Initiative. It is a compound helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors which made its first flight on 21st March 2019. Sikorsky Boeing states the SB-1 will be quick and nimble, with fast acceleration and deceleration, fast side-to-side -side movement, and the capability to hover with the tail up and nose down. The Defiant demonstrator will be powered by the Honeywell T-55, which powers the CH-47 Chinook. It will be slightly modified to better operate at slower propeller speeds, down to 85% RPM. Sikorsky and Boeing states the design is to have a cruise speed of 250 knots. Lastly, we have the Bell 360 Invictus. This is a proposed helicopter design intended to meet the United States Army requirement for a Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft or FARA. It is based on technology from the Bell 525 Relentless. Its main engine will be a single General Electric T901 turboshaft engine with supplemental power from a Pratt & Whitney PW207D1 turboshaft. The design from the Bell 360 delivers advanced speed, range, and agility. It supports a 20mm cannon and internal payload that features a modular effect launcher to accommodate current and future ordnance. The U.S. Army requirement calls for a cruising speed in excess of 180 knots or 330 km per hour. Combat radius will be 135 nautical miles or 250 km with at least 90 minutes time on station. It will also use fly-by-wire control. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.